very much. Well, if there's one thing that all of us in Mobile County know how to do is get ready for hurricane and the storms that come with it. Our Fox 10 News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby has been checking in on storm preps in the county. He joins us now live with more on that. Brendan. A Byron emergency planner spent the day monitoring weather reports, keeping an eye on Hurricane Ida's track and getting ready just in case. The spacious Mobile County Emergency Operations Center was empty earlier today, but it wouldn't take much to kick it into high gear if necessary. Uh, all the tracks are showing it west of New Orleans right now, but we all know that that can change in two or three hour period. So we just prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's Glenn Brannon, Director of Plans and Operations at the Mobile County Emergency Management Agency. For now, he says there are no plans to open shelters. But that could change if it looks like the storm is headed closer to Mobile. Brandon says if they do have to open a shelter, they will have to limit the number of people because of COVID-19. What we are asking, especially due to COVID, is if you have a place to go outside of the area, to evacuate outside of the area, these will be shelters of last resort. The agency has an app, which you can download by searching Mobile EMA. It has up-to-the-minute weather updates from the National Weather Service, local information, and also allows you to report things like downed trees and storm damage. The American Red Cross also is preparing. Volunteers are already arriving in Mobile from all over the country, along with supplies from a warehouse in Georgia. Brian Phelan, Disaster Program Manager for the South Alabama Chapter, says those assets will go wherever they're most needed along the Gulf Coast. From Texas to the Florida Panhandle, we're gearing up for Ida. Uh, there's truckloads of supplies that are coming down. Uh, we'll have 68,000 uh, ready-to-eat meals uh, available. We have cots, blankets, uh, cleanup kits. Mobile does dodge this storm. Don't let your guard down. We still have several more weeks of the most active part of the hurricane season. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.